Hello everybody, it's MMFQ Death, and welcome back to iOS. So in this video, I wanted to point out right off the bat that I do not condone piracy. I do not think that piracy is a good thing, nor is it a bad thing. I see it more of a necessary evil for certain things, and one thing that iOS does lack is the ability to try out apps that you haven't tried before, before you buy them. And I feel like that should be a feature of the App Store. So I do slightly agree with the methods used here, but I do not under any circumstances condone or give use of doing this for pirated software. That is not what I am trying to showcase here. I just figured a lot of people ask me this a lot, so I do a quick video tutorial on it. So the first thing you're going to not necessarily need, but it'll make your life a lot easier, is to jailbreak your iOS device. Now, any iDevice running iOS 7 or newer can use the Evasion 7 jailbreak, as I showcased in a video previously, which you can find in the description of this video. Now, if you were on iOS 6 or before, you can also use Evasion 6, which is a jailbreak tool for iOS 6 or 6.1. So keep that in mind, you can jailbreak older iOS devices. And iOS 5, I would recommend Red Snow or Absinthe jailbreaks for those. Um, but this is not a video about that. It is a video about how to download apps for free on iOS 7. Now that I have that little disclaimer out of the way, let me go ahead and show you guys my top two uh, replacements for the popular jailbreak app that you guys may have known from before called Installus which basically allows you to download cracked apps and install them on your iOS device. Now, the first thing you're gonna need, since this is for jailbreak, uh, you're gonna need to go into Cydia, and you're going to need to install a uh, package from the Insanely I repo. And if I remember correctly, Exilees has this package as well, so if you have that, then power to you. But I try to stick to Insanely I, since it is, no offense to you, Exilees, uh, I think, I hope I'm saying that right, uh, but it is a more reputable source, um, and it keeps stuff up to date, I notice, a little bit quicker. So, let Cydia go ahead and reload its data here. Okay, sorry about that. I had to get rid of uh, a source that I added recently to get a DS emulator, um, because it overloaded Cydia and I had too many sources. Anyway, so you need to search for AppSync in Cydia, and what you're going to find when scrolling down is AppSync for iOS 7. 0.0 plus so you're gonna go ahead and install this package and as you can see the author is app addict and there's a reason for that um, it requires ios 7 app sync patches the installed file on your iDevice allowing applications without distribution rights management or drm now once that package is installed you shouldn't have to respring now what you're going to do is you're going to go to two websites let's just go ahead and get rid of that and for the first one which i find to be a little bit more uh user friendly i suppose um and it, for me it seems to work like it seems to have more apps on it uh compared to the latter alternative but to install this all you're going to do is hit download or install vshare on a jailbroken device and you will see you have to install AppSync and cydia before um vshare supports a new ipad so it is available on ipad and iphone alternatively but you just hit download or install vshare which i already have installed and I'll go ahead and show you that here in a quick moment. You can see its icon right here. All right, so let's go ahead back to Safari. And we can go ahead and get rid of that tab. Um, and I will put the links overlaid on the video here. Now, the second one is called App Addict. And as you saw from the maker of AppSync for iOS 7, it is the same manufacturer who makes this app. Now, before you install App Addict 3, there are a few requirements. Your device must be jailbroken and have AppSync installed and running iOS 6.x or 7.x. Now, you can also see not jailbroken, try out AA re-signing app. Now, that's a way you can use your computer to re-sign apps to make your iPhone think that it has DRM. It's a lot more confusing than doing it the jailbroken way, which is, which is why I'm not going to showcase it. So anyway, all you have to do for this one is slide this little bar here to install the app and it will put App Addict on your home screen somewhere, and then you can go ahead and use it. So first, let's go ahead and get into vShare. Now vShare, just a simple app. Now you may notice some Chinese characters like you did on the website. I assure you, it is in English. Uh, you do not have to worry about it. So this is vShare. Now you have the top apps that are featured right here, and as you can see, it'll tell you if the app is free or not. You can still install it. 
Um, basically, the reason why you'd want to do that is in case an app starts crashing or anything of that sort. Um, when you update it, you can always go back to a new or a latter version um, via vShare. So that is one really cool feature, which I have had that happen a couple times. So now to download an app, let's say we wanted to download um, Shadow Blade because apparently that is not a free app. You can go ahead and click on it and then go to download and it says direct download. Now I've had a problem with direct downloads in vShare. Um, it may come up with an error message where sizes and tell me the source may have changed. Please try again later. I don't know if it's gonna do that this time, but it usually does. Uh, so more than likely you wanna use what's called a cloud host, I think. Um, let's just go ahead and get rid of that, but it will download the app. Uh, let's go ahead and I believe that Minecraft Pocket Edition does have one of these versions. Now again, I don't support, or I do not support um, piracy only if you're going to try it out but pocket edition has a free trial so i wouldn't do it to this app i'm just showing you guys purely because i've been asked so as you guys can see here cloud4files.com these usually work more than likely you just hit get download url and then it'll count down 15 seconds and then you will be able to download the file and that's how it works for any app on here you can also search for apps and it tells you hot words which are words that are searched very frequently um, like WhatsApp is a very hot app apparently because, oh, it's free now. Okay, I know it used to cost a dollar on iOS. But anyway, so you can download apps via vShare. So that is one good thing about vShare. Now this is App Addict. So let's go ahead and get into this. It looks a lot more similar to the iOS 7 App Store, uh, but I noticed that it loads pretty slowly and it's built in browser for handling the actual links. Uh, is a little bit slower but I do like the UI choice that they went with um, but as you can see there's a little bit of like lag on loading the app pictures not a ton but a little bit and I have pretty fast internet and my eye device is fine on memory so I know that, that isn't the problem uh, but I don't know it just seems to run a little bit slower but one cool thing is it has a lot more detailed uh, details actually um, considering in the app pages it is a direct I think I think copy and paste from the app store I could be wrong on that but it looks very very similar um, but then you can click links and you can see it is very similar to the way that install us worked where it would give you a ton of different links on different um, file hosts by different people and it'll tell you who it's by and it'll sort them by version so let's go ahead and say we wanted to download 1.0.1 .1. now billion uploads now, as you can see, I think that right under Cut the Rope, they should add like a Chrome style um, loading bar where it like goes across the screen in a little blue thing or green to match the UI. Uh, but here you can continue to download page. Now, this is only for billion uploads. Uh, since this one uses many different, yeah, you can see files temporarily unavailable. You get that problem a lot. Since this one uses different um, actual file hosting sites, sometimes you'll get one that is just dead. Uh, so there's nothing you can really do about it. Now this is apparently turbo bit and let's go ahead and type in the security code J96R. Click download and then I believe we're gonna have to wait. Uh, yeah, you have to wait a minute to get a download link. But once you click the download link, it'll start installing. And then you can go to your app center and it'll say apps and then downloads and it'll automatically install. So as long as you have app sync installed, it will automatically install the files after uh, downloads are completed on the device and as will vShare. So both of these are great alternatives to the popular jailbreak app Installus. Um, and you can definitely get free apps for no purpose other than trials. So I would definitely recommend at least trying these out if you do plan on buying apps and you just aren't sure if you like them and you can't find a review on it, I would recommend just giving it a shot because it is a decent alternative and if your device is jailbroken, which I'm assuming it is by watching this tutorial, which I'm assuming it is by watching this video, then I hope you guys enjoy and if you did, leave a like down below. And if you could, leave a comment if you guys want to see anything else having to do with the iOS 7 jailbreak, any tweak spotlights or anything like that. Go ahead and post a comment down below. 
give me some tweaks that I should showcase if you guys do want that or anything else I can really do. I'm thinking about possibly doing a tutorial on this DS emulator, uh, which is a port to iOS from Desumi for um, PC. So if you guys want to see something on that, then go ahead and post a comment down below. And as always, it's been MMFQDeath, and thank you all for watching. Peace.